Election fever has hit Phnom Penh, but it's all one-sided. These are members of Cambodia's ruling party, pledging support for Prime Minister Hun Sen. He has led the country well. It has developed very well. He is good. He is very determined. He is knowledgeable. Hun Sen has ruled with an iron fist for 38 years. That will continue because there'll be no main opposition to vote for in Sunday's poll. The Candlelight Party would have been that rival, but was disqualified by the Constitutional Court last month. We could not find the original registration paperwork, so we were rejected. But we have been allowed to participate in previous elections, so I say it is intentional to deny us this time. It is politically motivated. These women know all about that. Their husbands were members of a previous opposition party but were thrown in jail accused of incitement. The wives now protest weekly for their release, risking beatings and harassment as they picket. Our husbands didn't do anything wrong. They just demanded justice and democracy for this country. Speaking out can be fraught here. One of the last independent media organisations, Voice of Democracy, ran a story this year about Hun Sen's son, which the PM didn't like. Its licence was suddenly revoked. Cambodia is a democratic society, it's a Cam so uh, we need a free media, independent media. Unlike previous elections here, there are no overt calls for a boycott, and that's because the parliament recently changed the election law. Anyone who boycotts the poll will be banned from contesting future elections and anyone urging people to boycott can be fined or sent to jail. Australia and other Western countries say they won't be sending election observers to monitor the one-sided poll. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Phnom Penh.